Like for that, and that rare eclipse is exactly one month away, the annular solar eclipse. But what exactly is an annular eclipse? Meteorologist Kristen Walla joins us tonight with the science of it all. Kristen. Hey there, y'all. One month from today, like y'all have said, we're going to be in one of the best locations in the entire country to view this annular solar eclipse. So first, let's explain just what a regular old eclipse is. An eclipse occurs when the moon moves between the sun and the earth, blocking part or all of the sun from our perspective here on earth. The moon's shadow is then cast onto the earth, and that's going to make us dark here. There's a few different types of eclipses, but we'll get to uh, experience the one a month from today. That is going to be this annular eclipse. So in an annular eclipse, the sun is not completely blocked by the moon. It creates that ring of fire effect that Mike mentioned. Because the sun is not completely blocked, it's not safe to look directly at the sun without specialized eye protection made for solar viewing. So your regular sunglasses, those don't count. The partial eclipse will begin at 1026 in the morning around 1130 about an hour and a half later the moon will cover half of the sun the annularity or the time where that max eclipse is begins at 1155 and lasts until noon with the maximum eclipse at 1158 a.m. about an hour, uh, half an hour after that the moon will again only cover half of the sun the partial eclipse ends as the moon leaves the sun's edge at 138 p.m. so the second half of it will be just a little bit longer. The entire thing going to last about three hours and 12 minutes, but that big main event going to last about five minutes. So you definitely want to check it out. And the eclipse, by the way, going to create a pretty spooky daytime darkness. Corpus Christi is again in perfect position to see the ring of fire, weather permitting, of course. We've got a complete breakdown and more details on the eclipse on our website, ktriplitv.com. Leslie, Rudy. A key term there, weather permitting. Mm -hmm.